two years ago when Barclays sponsored the London cycle hire scheme, the bank was riding high. But this year, its corporate culture has come under attack after it was accused of involvement in a rate setting scandal. Corporate culture has become the buzzword, both the culprit and the potential solution for problems facing modern capitalism. I think culture can exist despite, shall we say, the, um, the inability of senior leaders to set the right tone from the tops. But it's very fragile, it's very, it's very difficult to sustain it. And the pressure on the good people who form the majority of the employees and the workforce is immense. You know, the pressure for short-term uh, profitability sometimes, you know, make people, uh, you know, cross some red lines that they shouldn't be crossed. And I do think that this is where informal systems that have to do with culture and values actually play a role. It's not just tone at the top, it's tone in the middle and tone everywhere. Um, and in fact, many people also say the wisdom in an organisation is at the front line. So if you want to know what's going on, you need to go and talk to the, the bank tellers in the high street branches, the guys in the call centres, listen to those conversations, watch those interactions with customers and then you'll have an idea. And in terms of investment banking, walk the trading floor, listen in, see what's going on. Experts agree that regulation can only go so far in promoting a good corporate culture. So the question is, what can companies themselves do to improve and restore positive behaviour when their culture has gone bad? Well, the first place that we need to start is in the boardroom and the executive committee room. And our senior leaders, if they truly understand the purpose of their business. So if you're a bank, for example, what is the purpose of a bank? Why do banks exist? They exist to actually help move money around the economy. If someone says our job is to make money, then I get worried. And uh, when you think about uh, the cultural values that any company has, they always are related with the purpose of the firm, what motivates people, the why question, and also very important, the how question, how you actually try to achieve the goals, the purpose, or uh, develop the mission of the firm. There are many corporate cultures that do work. Within the system we have, uh, we know there are some organizations, some banks and other big businesses that function extremely well. The challenge is, is culture high enough on the board agenda? Do people actually have a mindfulness about it? Is it something they are concerned about on a daily basis? Or will it be just another box to be ticked? Companies like Barclays will clearly face an uphill struggle in restoring their positive corporate culture. The good news is that with change at the top, this can be achieved quite quickly. The wider question is how long will it take for public perception to catch up? I'm Andrew Hill, Financial Times in London.